All right, Patriots fans, welcome to a post-game episode of This Week in Patriots Baseball, a podcast. We're on the team bus, fresh off uh, a tough luck 6-5 defeat at the hands of the D.C. Trash Pandas. It was uh, a taut affair throughout. Pitcher's duel, you could say. Defensive struggle, you could say. Really, uh, the the drama happened in the the late innings. Patriots were down by two going into the eighth. Rallied for three to take a one-run lead into the ninth, uh, but could not hold it. Trash Pandas force across the winning run on a bloop single behind a drawn-in infield. Final score, 6-5, Trash Pandas. Joined by Patriots manager Keith Fisher, who uh, had a rare appearance, actually, in this game. Uh, had a, a pinch hit, and Fish, it was a walk, is that correct? That's right. I was able to draw a walk, so uh, so my name appeared in the scorebook. 2019, 19 years in a row. Yeah, that, that, that officially checks that box. Uh, well, congratulations on that milestone, uh, albeit coming in defeat. Um, let's break this one down. We spoke at the top of the show with starting pitcher Justin DeLorenzo. He worked two solid innings, and then you got into the bullpen. Tell us a little bit about what you saw from Justin in his first action of the season, and then your strategy uh, from there with the, the pitching staff the rest of the way. Yep, no, I think we followed the plan. Uh, Justin looked great. Um, I think that's exactly what we wanted to see through about 25 pitches, and that's uh, what you know, was the plan for him. And, uh, and you know, we, we followed the, the blueprint the rest of the way. Uh, you know, if you look at the, the box where we only gave up two earned runs the whole game, so, you know, really no complaints about that. Um, and, uh, you know, really, again, getting all the pitchers work, everybody. Um, you know, I thought you know, looked great out there today and did a good job battling through uh, some tough situations. So some tough situations. Uh, Patriots probably had a handful of, of plays that, that we'd probably like back uh, in the field defensively. I guess what did you see there, and, and how can we try to shore up that defense uh, moving forward through the rest of the season? Yeah, I think we saw last week what, what happens when we play, uh, you know, errorless baseball, but today... Uh, uh, Today we weren't able to do that. Uh, put our pitchers in some tough situations, uh, like I said, and, uh, and you know they were able to battle for us. And uh, just sometimes we just couldn't overcome it. We could definitely have to cut down on the on uh, the defense, but I think we will as the as the year goes on. Um, you know, I think we're uh, as we get into a groove, I think the defense will come around. So tough one today, but uh, that certainly will be what we look back on this game. I think if we make the plays, we're. Uh, we're talking about a, a different uh, a different recap. On the other side of the ball, uh, we we were missing some thump in the middle of that lineup. No Sean Mackenheimer today, and there was some timely hitting certainly in the the late inning rally, uh, but also um, a number of men left on base uh, in earlier innings when perhaps we could have put the game uh, a little bit more out of reach. And uh, uh, as you said, we might be having a different discussion. Uh, as we sit here right now yeah uh but yeah your your impression on the bats today yeah you know that's just baseball sometimes we had um we did leave a lot of guys on today but we had some tough luck you know yank uh you know hit that one real solid out to center field uh just hit it right at him unfortunately same thing with Pyatt in the next inning another look that looks like a double off the bat right but uh you know turned out turned out the guy made a great play so you got to tip your hat uh you know, we, we had a couple of we got a got a couple back on some dunk hits as well. So, uh, you know, we just gotta try to try, try to put the ball in play a little bit more uh, going forward, and um, I think the hits will come. Yeah, I think you're right. I think it's chalk this one up to, you know, hey, just that's baseball sometimes, and uh, it's interesting. We talked at the top of this show, uh, coming off last week's win about how we really just wanted to get back out there and play right away yeah. and uh, certainly under different circumstances but I would say to a man uh, everybody probably has that same feeling uh, coming off of today's game and, yeah. and wanting to get back out there and put this one behind us so uh, what, what does the matchup look like next week? 
Uh, next week's against the Arlington Shockers, who are a little bit re uh, retooled uh, this year. They're, I think, the 703 Hooters and uh, the Shockers merge. So uh, we should expect to see a, a pretty quality team next week. The Shockers have always been competitive. Uh, it will be their first game of the season. Uh, they got rained out last week and had a bye this week. So the way the schedule fell for them was a little bit unfortunate. Maybe fortunate for us that we'll uh, catch them a little rusty, but we can't count on that. Um, we got to come ready to play. The Shockers are always a great team. There you have it from Patriots manager Keith Fisher. Pats dropped their first game of the season, fall to 1-1. One and one. But they will be back in action next Sunday. Another 11.05 start. Until then, keep it locked right here on This Week in Patriots Baseball, a podcast for additional news, notes, updates, and uh, we might even revisit that rumor mill if uh, there's, there's anything percolating, so uh, stay tuned for that. I'm your host, Chad Kurz. Until next time, don't forget to try your best. So long, everybody. Everybody.